Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 12 degree Friday the 24th of February. Look how high that sun is now. You remember, just seems like a week ago it was blazing into the camera. Um, I'm staying here today. Let's just put it this way. I was up all night, and there's not enough rest areas between here and work that I feel comfortable surviving. I, um... Uh, I was perched upon the throne a lot last night, and it's continuing this morning. I don't know what hit me sideways, but... So, poor Kelly, she's she goes, I have to go. Because it's her, the parts manager, and a, a young gal that doesn't have a whole lot of motorcycle experience. She's a good worker, hard worker, but, you know, helping customers and stuff can be a little tricky. So, Kelly goes, I have no option. I have to be here. Well, Mama... Keep your eyeballs peeled for the crazy people. All righty. All right. Try to get out early if it's slow. Yeah. I know it's just like minimalist crew today, so. Yeah. All right. It ought to be quiet. It's, it's going to be way worse down that way, so. Yeah. Keep her in snow mode. She'll go like a snow bunny. <laughs> She's. Glad to see you. Bye. I said, you know how to get it in snow mode? She goes, it's already there. <laughs> Love you, see you, bye. That's some froze up ice puddles. I did clear her mirrors and all the main windows, the tail light, headlights and all that stuff so she can, she can see. That thing's just literally been dangerous to drive. <laughs> well, hello everybody. And uh, welcome back to uh, Welcome back to Toledo. It's now four o'clock. Here about a half an hour ago, I'm sitting there at my desk taking a cat nap and uh, feeling a lot better. So I'll just, you know, you feel better and you're just nice and calm and you just kind of slip off. All of a sudden the dogs outside, inside, everybody's freaking out. So I'm like, what the heck's going on? So I go stumbling out the, out the door, I just got like PJ bottoms and stuff on UPS truck standing out there. I'm like, I don't have anything coming from UPS. Comes toting out the door after he threw some treats to the dogs and stuff. He's got this great big old box. Well, that red cat, um, what's it called? The Everest Gen 7 Pro or whatever. It's supposed to be here tomorrow that I got for Kelly. She's going to be very excited about this. She's going to have her own RC car. Rock crawler version, even. But, uh, yeah, showed up a day early. And um, uh, all along, I guess all morning long, there's been notifications from Amazon and UPS. You know, Amazon going, congratulations, your, your parcel's going to show up a day early. I'm getting the same thing from UPS. Nope, got the phone turned off, and I'm just uh, sleeping and having a good old time there. So, yeah, never even knew it was coming. That was a big surprise. So in lieu of that, let's play... Kelly's not home yet. Let's uh, let's play with Narcy right quick. God almighty, she's going to be excited. So, anyway, thinking of fun and silly, and I figured I'd take the old TRX4 Sport for a rip. You guys don't know, but I, I actually drive this thing way more than anything else. <laughs> I don't know why like I've said before just something something very simple and fun about it you guys know me I, I kind of like things to not be overly fancy in my personal stuff I love high whoa I just absolutely caught that gate I love high tech stuff you know BMWs and spiders and all that stuff Oh, by the way, today is the second birthday of my Royal Enfield Himalayan. On this day, two years ago, I bought that thing. You know, it's the lights and stuff I put on. You know how, how much I could save by looking on all these aftermarket lights for these RC cars? You see what I do? Factory stuff. If the factory makes it, it's going to work. It's going to function. It's going to be reliable. And it goes on with instructions from the people that built the vehicle. 
Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? There's nothing going to hack into any kind of wiring, you know, like a CAN bus system or anything weird like that. It's just, it's meant and sold by the manufacturer. That's the right way to do it. Now, Traxxas does make some pretty bad A brushless motors, but they don't make a crawler version of it. So, anyway. I didn't even say anything negative there. I, that kind of... I wasn't trying to be angry or whatever. <laughs> if I was, I, I apologize. I just love... It started out with, I love simple. I go simple first. And then kind of work from there. I don't buy simple and cheap to spend twice the amount of money to make it something that I can't afford at the time. I wait till I can afford it. And just get the real thing right out of the gate. Man, I ain't about to go ripping this thing through the snow. Although, this one, like I say, is simple enough. You ain't gonna hurt a whole lot or worry about it. Actually, they're designed to do that kind of stuff all day long. Let's get you a little bit better lighting. How about that? Let me swing my little body to the other side. Look at that. Boy, somebody is... Is that something running? Is that like a tractor being drug along somewhere? I don't know, we're gonna have to go investigate that. Oh no, I got snow on the tires. <laughs> the snow doesn't hurt anything. And like I say, they're designed to do this. I'm just, I'm too anal about my stuff and I hate having to clean it because I, I will literally I'll do it and go, yeah, I don't really care. I'll just get it dirty. I'll clean it later. Nope. I'll drive myself nuts. But yet I drive a $70,000 car that looks like a junker. It's so dirty. But that's one of those things that you know it'll turn that way within a day or two. And I will spend an entire day washing that car. So... Love this little thing. Bang, crash, boom. <laughs> you know, it's funny is I can drive a car down the road with a phone in my hand or a camera and never once look. But I get an RC car and I, I think I spend more time watching the camera than I do the vehicle. As you guys can see, I've done some funky things. Oh, that was that was a fail crawl there. Oops, I didn't have my finger in the right spot. Oh, little fender rub. Yeah. You know, I literally never drive these things two-handed anymore. It actually feels awkward <laughs> to go two-handed, which is a good thing. It's just easier that way. I think that's the way I always drove them before, but those these newfangled radios with the, with the wheel so far away, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't, I never heard a reasoning. Did they do that because people were accidentally bumping the wheel and sending the car astray or what was the purpose? Because if you notice most radios, of course you can buy them high-end ones, that all that's adjustable. You can even flip sides and everything else with them. But look at that. My bricks are all knocked out of spot there. It tells me a dog was back here messing around. They get the wrestling and carrying on and... Next thing you know, things are coming apart. <laughs> Alright. Let me go see. Hope she wasn't super busy there. After the snow, it, it can do that. But I haven't heard a peep out of her. Nothing other than I made it fine. 
once I got to the freeway, the roads were fine. That was nice and clear. And then once she got on the other side of Woodland and got into Portland, it uh, there's lots of snow around there. So anyway, I'm gonna end this on that. Still curious though what all the all the banging and crashing was. Whoops. Maybe those guys are doing stuff out there. Probably running one of their tractors or something. I think it was sure making a lot of racket. Like it or love it, the snow never lasts forever. But uh, I'm starting to get pretty cold standing here, so well, I'm going to roll in, wait for the little woman, or go grab my other phone see where she's at. So here she is. I got some serious brownie points out of this thing. Kelly's got her own rock crawler. This is the Red Cat Everest Gen 7 Pro. Now this thing's been out for about five years now and tons and tons of reviews on it. It's a, it's a budget crawler that uh, actually does really, really well. Trailer hitch ball comes included. <laughs> Gas cans and like the Traxxas um, Bronco that is a real tire. Then you got your little shovels and the little sand ladders and ramps or whatever you call them. <laughs> She's pretty cool. She's going to have a ball with this thing. Tons and tons of reviews on this thing. But like I told you guys, I had some credits and stuff like that. And yeah, I got this thing for one smoking deal. And she don't have to worry about banging any of my stuff up or hurting anything. You just go out there. If you crash it, you crash it. If you break it, you break it. Just go out there and have fun. Let me pop the hood up on it. It's Velcro down, so I can't do it one-handed. <laughs> Check it out. So the ESC in this thing is uh, what they call a hex fly, which I've heard some people say it's it's actually a hobby wing, rebadged hobby wing thing. The frame built here in the state somewhere, or at least designed by them. She's all wheel drive, nice oil shocks, framework with a little kickstand that bolts into the side here so you can always have it with you the velcro like i've seen <laughs> different reviews uh it's pretty stiff right out of the gate a little 550 sized motor i don't know how many turns i don't think they even list it i think some people have said it's like a 26 or something but yeah nice shocks and Fully, I mean, look at the infinite amount of adjustability in the frame of this thing. Comes with uh, inner fender wells. There's a sport version that's kind of like the Traxxas TRX4 Sport. Doesn't come with anything. No fender wells or nothing. But, uh, yeah, very simplified. Nice. It's got these weird, I think I've heard them, or there's a technical name for them. I think some people even call them banana connections or something. Um, I had some adapters go to, I never cut the stock ESC cords off, never. In case you sell it or whatever, I want it to always be stock. So I won't cut the ESC. So I just get the adapters. In the old days, I built them. Now you just sign on to Amazon and order them. But um comes with the guards on the on the disc front and rear. Some of the complaints they have the you know the yokes tend to be a little low and can be challenging and stuff. But yeah, if you start out with these challenges, then uh in the end you become a better driver. <laughs> but that's pretty cool though. She's gonna have a ton of fun. So I have to charge the nickel metal hydrate battery that they sent with us, a 3000 amp. And it's just one of those plug in a socket chargers. So uh, it takes forever. But anyway, she's gonna have a ton of fun with this thing. 
She's been sitting there. I had to shoot her out of here so I could shoot the, the footage of it. So you're just looking at it. Ooh, she's going through her manual and everything. But anyway, from here, we're going to go out there and do ourselves a goodbye vlog while it's still some, and I do mean heavy on the thumb on the light outside. All righty. Well, hello there, YouTube. So that was a nice little surprise. Of course, you know, it doesn't come into its product boxes. Boxes in a box. So I just wrote a little note for Kelly. She comes walking in. She stopped at the store, got a little groceries. And, Ooh, what's this? Yes. So it was very cool. Going through the manual, reading all the stuff about I'm just admiring the skies back there if that showed up. But uh yeah, we lost track of time. It's past sunset. Yep. Oops. And uh yeah. I that guess so they're pretty. talking about more snow down the Vancouver Portland area. Yeah. So it, Kelly said the guys at work, we haven't studied the weather, we've been checking out her new R C car. Yes. All hers. Nothing. She can just go banging banging if she crashes it, beats it up. She don't have to worry about nothing. That's very cool. Nah, I gotta be afraid that I don't go and scratch it, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right if you do. Yeah. Well, it's all right if you do, too, but she no. don't see it that way. No, no, no. Don't ever <laughs> touch anybody else's stuff. She's dropped a couple of my motorcycles, my CBX six-cylinder and I think the XV920 once, wasn't it? Yeah. That was it. Couldn't get her to ride a street bike. She rode that XV920 RH around like it was hers. Well, that was such an easy bike to ride. I mean, you just... It just yeah, but I think it was... For, yeah, just was that, that was that Harley kind of torque where you just, you know, you don't even have to use gas, just like with a clutch, yeah. chunk, chunk, chunk. chunk. And it went. <laughs> yeah. But I think if you were to sit on one now, it'd probably shock you. It's they're quite tall, that European oh. spec one, but yeah. But I was yeah. young and dumb. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a connector because I never cut, never cut the stock uh, battery connectors off of batteries. You know, uh, no, I just make converters. Now you can buy converters, you know, to convert it to whatever, to the batteries you normally use. So th they were supposed to show up today and didn't. So we're having to use the stock nickel metal hydrate thing and their little plug in the wall charger. She goes, how long does this thing take to charge? She's ready to go. <laughs> I know it. Yeah. We Keep have checking. To, no, the light's still red. Yeah, I have to do a midnight run out there in the yeah. in the pit. You. I don't know if you're going to try the ramps just yet, but... No, I'll just You can go, go banging around. around stuff. Yes. She don't like the ramps. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fall off. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But, anyway. Appreciate you guys watching. And, mm -hmm. uh... End of a beautiful day. Too bad it was no, too cold, too blacky. I felt all morning, so... Yeah. It was just a... Um, look outside. Took some good naps, though. Feel That's a lot good. better. <laughs> That's good. But, um... On that we're gonna roll all righty well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing saturday or sunday heck yeah all right see you in the morning we'll see you then <laughs> bye bye now